Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno as we attend the world premiere for a film that shows us it's never too late to fall for your mate. Love, Rosie. This story feels very relatable because this could happen to anybody, couldn't it? Any girl. Could, yeah, and I think a lot of the awkwardness in this movie is what makes it so funny and relatable because everyone has a friend that's gone through something as awkward as some of the moments in it, or even yourself, and we kind of shine a light on those awkward moments and say it's okay, like everyone goes through them, um, but also the romance of it is very realistic, I think, so hopefully everyone can relate to it. And, and is there a strong theme here about the importance of being able to communicate properly? I think so. I think honesty is key and um, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there as long as in the end that you are honest, I think it pays off. But everyone has their own speed at which they're honest. So um, I wouldn't say there's a specific rule book, but I think it it's, depends on person to person. This is such an enchanting story to be a part of. Yes, it is. It's amazing. It's wonderful. I'm very different. My, my character, it, it, she kind of uh, is the highlight of how it can go wrong, I suppose, in this film, which I actually really liked and, and, and was one of the reasons why it drew me, um, because she, was very, she wasn't part of the, the, the whole story. She was just this, this bright spark that came in and out quite quickly, which I really enjoyed. Um, but it is. It's, it's, a, it's a story about love and friendship and actually how when you spark with someone and really connect you shouldn't take it for granted it's not necessarily something that will always be there with everyone and um, to grab to you know, really grab it and, and grasp it while you can so um, that's what the, I think the moral of the story is. Was it also attractive for you because I can see you've got a very warm personality the character that you're playing is <laughs> is, is, is colder so it was that attractive to you as, a, as an actor to explore that kind of Absolutely. I think every actor wants to pay uh, something that they're not so that they can explore that side of them. Um, and to me, that was that was something that was very interesting. I like the fact that in the beginning, she's very sweet and she's very youthful. And she's almost the, the epiphany of, of what a, a, you know, a, a man would think. Oh, I want that. I want that woman. But she turns out to be this nasty, uh, very neurotic, very controlling woman and uh, and I think she, she, she highlights how you know aesthetics isn't always the key, even her lifestyle, it's everything is fake and wonderful and great, it's almost Stepford Wives like and uh, what goes on inside isn't necessarily always golden and, and as beautiful so I think it's very, it's very interesting to see and show people, especially if they're young, you know, that Pick who, pick, pick who you're with very carefully. Exactly. Doesn't have to be good looking. <laughs> How does a girl from Devon get to get a big audition for this? Um, my agent, she's, um, I've, I've changed agents now, but um, I used to be with Sylvia Young and she was absolutely incredible, my agent there. Um, I absolutely loved her. She'd give me such good roles and auditions. Um, but now I'm with United Agents, Lindy King, um, and she's incredible too. She puts me up for such good jobs, so... It's really exciting. It's an exciting script, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really good. What did you like about it? Um, I'm not really sure. I just enjoyed the whole, the whole thing. It was just such a good thing to film. I just enjoyed it really. Are you shooting in Ireland as well? Yes, Ireland and Canada. So. Oh my God! How exciting was that? It was so good. My um, most of the scenes we filmed were at night in Canada, so it was very tiring. But it was such good fun. I really you had to um, balance your, your school as well with that, your schoolwork. Um, I'm homeschooled, so we kind of do it like on the plane or something, so it was really good. This is a very relatable story, isn't it? Yes, I hope. So. For me it is, yeah, I hope for you too. Yeah. Yes. And um, you're, you're used to working with young cast, with yes. a young cast. Yeah. What's it like? Is it, what, what's so special for you as a director working and nurturing young talent? Well, you know, I, I really love working with young people because, um, you know, they are not, they're not so, they don't have any patterns yet, right? And they don't do, okay, now I do trick 17B out of, uh, you know, draw number five, you know, they are really very open and I basically, you know, just encourage them, you know, to feel through the scenes rather than to, you know, act them out or something. And, and you know, it was very lovely and, you know, all our cast and Lydia and Sam particularly, you know, they're just great, great like that. Watching the film, the strongest thing for me seems to be communication and the importance of it. Is that something that resonated with you when you read the script? Well, it, it especially also resonated when I read the novel because the novel is all about communication. It's just letters, instant messages and everything. And so uh, I think it's a very modern theme because people tend to communicate much more, you know, through means like that than uh, face to face. And, you know, but also... You know, it's like it's like a balance, isn't it? Because you communicate differently face to face, and and I, I think the I think the film shows both sides. Yeah. My goodness, your know, your books are getting adap adapted into film uh, scripts. What does that What does that mean to you? It's so exciting. Like it's 
so overwhelming to be here and to see my little thoughts come to life. Um, but it's great. I think it's just really nice for me to think that my stories are reaching a wider audience. And hopefully if they see the movie, then they'll read the book. Or, and if not, at least they hear my stories. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Where was the uh, kind of genesis for, for Love, Love Rosie as we know it? Well, the book is written entirely in letters and emails and, and letters, um, yeah, letters, emails, texts, the communication between two people from youth, from like the age of five, passing notes at school, to all the way up to 50 in the novel, 30 in the movie. And I wanted to tell a story in, in their own words, you know, get inside the characters' heads and hear what it's like to, who they really feel, because I think that's what letter writing does. And I mean, for me, watching the film, it felt like communication is such a strong theme. And, and the importance, actually, of being able to be free enough to say what you really feel, because it has such an effect. Obviously, as a writer, that's my way of expressing myself. But I always think when people put pen to page or text or whatever they're doing now, that they re reveal a lot more about themselves than they usually would. Because you're not face to face with the person. You can kind of let go and be a, little, a bit less shy. And that happens. There's some beautiful love letters from Alex to Rosie. And um, and also because it is letters and some, some things can get missing. Some things can be taken by the wrong people. Um, and yeah, so there's... It's nice that they were able to inter put that into the movie, like there's nice text bubbles and email bubbles and made it very kind of modern and, and how we communicate now. And with regards to the, the cast, is it, was it difficult to picture what you had pictured in your mind to, to seeing the, the lovely actors that we see on the big screen now? Um, oh my God, I couldn't have got a better cast. Like they're so cool. Uh, did I just see Lily pass? She's very cool. <laughs> um, where is she? Um, the chemistry between Sam and Lily is beautiful, like really beautiful. You had to believe that they knew each other for that long and, and on and off screen, it was really beautiful. Um, of course, then there's Suki and Jamie and Tamsin and just, uh, and Christian. I, I shouldn't have started now because I'll leave somebody out, but it's really cool, young, edgy, very cool cast.